The ISU Library has a robust health sciences ebook collection, and we have quite a few good sources for ebooks. This video is going to show you how to browse and search a few of these collections. The easiest way to find these is from the ISU Library's main page. Click the Subject Guides tab. Open the menu and choose ebooks at ISU. There's a separate box here for just health sciences ebooks. These are all for full textbooks, not just abstracts or summaries or tables of contents. So if you need the information like tomorrow, this is a great place to go. Now let's talk about each of these collections and what you'd use them for. Access Medicine and Access Pharmacy are good sources on medications and drugs, but they have even more information, and they're not just for pharmacy students. The books at Ovid and Duty's Core Collection come from the same source. The Books at Ovid option allows you to just go in and search, while the Duty's Core Collection will allow you to browse, so we'll go ahead and go to that one. The Duty's Core Collection has over 350 titles. These are all highly rated textbooks in a variety of medical disciplines. You can switch to search mode by clicking the magnifying glass and search for the title if you know it. But the search function in this Duty's Core Collection is honestly pretty lousy, so the best thing to do is either browse by subject or title. We can switch over into the Subject Browse by clicking here. When you switch the Browse box to Subject, you can view the main content categories and drill down into them for more options. If you are interested in Neurology, that would be found under Clinical Medicine. Click the entry to open it and scroll down on the left-hand side, and then click Neurology. This is definitely the easiest way to browse this collection. Now I'll switch over to Clinical Key. We are going to spend a little time talking about this tool because this is the big daddy of health sciences ebook collections. It has over a thousand full text textbooks. You can find these textbooks by going to the Clinical Key website and just clicking up here on the top where it says Books. The search feature in this database is not really great. There is a search feature right here that you can use, but it will only pull up the book if the word you're searching on is in the title. One of the best ways to browse is actually to limit by specialty. So we'll go here, choose More Specialties, and scroll down. And let's say we're interested in pediatrics. From here, you can actually just browse through to see which of these is interesting or relevant for your search. I'm going to click on Food Allergy, and then you can browse through the chapters. Once you get to the book chapter level, you can use the table of contents to focus in on what you're really interested in. Or you can use the Search This Book bar if the chapter headings are not useful. I'll choose a chapter as an example. You can read the whole book chapter right here, or in some cases, you can actually download the PDF. Downloading the PDF just requires a free and simple registration step. You register for a free account. Another way to search the Clinical Key database for books is actually searching the entire database. In this case, I'm interested in eating disorders, so I'm going to switch into search mode and type that into the top search bar. If the topic that you type in is a common or broad topic, it will bring up something on the results page that looks like this. It's an overview of the topic. This one is from Kahn's Current Therapy, which is a textbook. If you'd like to see the full overview, Click View Full Topic in the upper right corner.
At the top of the results page, we can see that our search brought back over 23,000 results. This is way too many to go through. It's important to note that the Clinical Key Database is a huge database that has journal articles, guidelines, patient education, and drug information. Since we're just focusing on books, let's use a limiter in the Filter By menu. This is where you can focus your search. We're going to go where it says Source Type, and I really just want to look at books. Well, 1800 results is better, but it's still too much to look through. Clinical Key tries to put the most relevant entries at the top. Generally, these are book chapters from general medical textbooks. You can see the textbook title here, and that can give you a clue as to the focus. Let's say my main topic is eating disorders in teenagers and adolescents. On the left side of the screen, I can open the specialties limiter and then click more specialties to choose pediatrics. That focuses my search. I still have 213 results, but all of these are from pediatric or adolescent textbooks. And once you're logged in, you can go ahead and download the PDF and print it off or download it and do whatever you want to do with it. Now there are some other ebook resources as well, but for our purposes, the most efficient way to search for online ebooks is just to type your search into the library's catalog. In this case, I'm looking for biostatistics, so I'll run a search in the library's one search bar. From here, I can limit my results to ebooks and also to ebooks that only contain full text. Under Source Types, if I open this filter menu, I can see ebooks as an option here. When I select this, the page will refresh to show only the 13,000 ebooks that have biostatistics somewhere in their description. Now, I only want to see books that have the full text available to me, so under Refine By, I can choose full text. That reduces my results down to 740. I'm just going to browse through the results. And this is a good one. This is the essentials of biostatistics for physicians, nurses, and clinicians. I'm going to click on the link that will take me to the PDF full text ebook. Now I can look at the text from here, or if the book is available for download, I can download it, or I can download individual chapters. I can also run a search within the book using the search within bar. And I click here, I'm going to do a search on simple random sampling. I found 370 instances of my keyword matching in this book. If I expand the book here, I can see each chapter that contains my keywords and the number of times that they appear, so I can choose which chapter I may want to read. And that's pretty much all there is about searching and browsing for health science ebooks at the ISU library. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact one of our librarians who can help you with any technical or practical issues you encounter.